but we're going to cross now to Addis Ababa, speak to our correspondent who joins us from there, Maria Gerth Nicolescu. Maria, what do we know then uh, about what is happening on the fighting? As you said, it's very difficult to uh, exactly know, isn't it? The Ethiopian government says its offensive in Tigray has now reached its final phase. Heavy fighting is still reported in the region, for example, in the north, around the historic city of Aksum, after national forces uh, have taken back the city of Shire. Abiy Ahmed is still saying federal troops are also marching uh, towards the regional capital, uh, Mekele. But TPLF leader Debrezion Gebre Mikael says that Tigrayan forces are still inflicting a defeat on all fronts, and he urged for a mobilization of all Tigrayans. Now, all this information, as you said, is still very difficult to verify with a total communications blackout in Tigray, and it is still not permitted to report uh, on the ground. The international community is still calling for de-escalation, saying that if the conflict spreads beyond Ethiopia's borders, this could destabilize the entire region. The government is now taking punitive measures for uh, people and businesses believed to be affiliated with the TPLF and accused of fomenting violence. Dozens of people were arrested, bank accounts frozen and arrest warrants were issued for 76 army officers for alleged uh, treason. The government uh, is, has denied any type of ethnic profiling, saying that it is simply dismantling uh, criminal TPLF networks. Uh, Maria, as I said at the top there, many refugees, they're still heading to that uh, border with Sudan, aren't they? Aid is still very slow to reach the 36,000 Ethiopians who've crossed the border with Sudan to escape fighting in Tigray. About 4,000 people are arriving every day, but there are not enough refugee camps. And the Sudanese government is now trying to establish a new structures. But in the meantime, refugees lack food, uh, drinking water and medicine. Sudan is expecting up to 200,000 refugees to come into the country if the fighting uh, continues. Testimonies of, ref of refugees are still describing a gruesome civilian massacres, for example, in the town of Maikadra, which points to possible ethnic violence in this war, a war that has already forced thousands of people to become internally displaced uh, within Tigray, with humanitarian organizations still not able to access the region to provide help. Shops are running out of food. There could also be a shortage of fuel, which would prevent hospitals from functioning during the numerous power cuts. NGOs are also extremely worried about the many Eritrean refugee camps that are established around the city of Shire, where heavy fighting was reported, was reported um, during the past days. Maria, thanks so much. Maria Gerthner-Lesko uh, joining us there from Addis Ababa.